A pleasure to me all at last. And so, today, it is September 2nd, 2024. And, of course, this is usually where I would record films I'm willing to talk about again content. But in spite of all this, I actually got something brand new that I want to try. Something new for GWK. At least for a little while. And well, why don't I go on ahead and talk a bit about some new games. In a whole different way. This will basically be known as First Impressions. A GWK series. And I feel like that by this point it should be clear that a certain recent title has come up. This title in particular is known as Monster Jam Showdown. The most recent entry into the Monster Gam Jam video game series. And more importantly, a pretty big one. This is the first time we've ever had a PS5 Monster Jam title. Although it's also going to be available for PS4 players. But for the most part, being an August 29th, 2024 release, that makes this whole thing only four days old at the time of its release. So right off the bat, this is definitely something that I had just gotten my hands on as gameplay footage was just made this morning and throughout the rest of the day I will in fact be focusing specifically on the game itself in terms of how I've originally felt popping this in for the first time, watching through that sick intro, and then of course playing the game itself. What it basically is, is traditional Monster Jam fun and excitement at its best. The compositions of such things including destruction, racing, stunt action, and whatnot. There's also the idea of collecting, mainly through coins, which you can in fact earn for every event that you complete. If you happen to get higher on the podium, then the reward should get bigger. And of course, we certainly can't forget that the variety of trucks in this game, as opposed to many of the others, like the Steel Titans duology and Crush It, Showdown really put a lot of thought into it. There's a lot of models we hadn't seen in a long time in the video game universe of Monster Jam itself, like Jurassic Attack and Ice Cream Man, although it was featured in Steel Titans 2 at one point. But there's also plenty of other models that are very recognizable, like Mohawk Warrior, Megalodon, Earthshaker, Gravedigger and Maximum Destruction, otherwise known as Max D for short. We also can't forget about the voiceover they use. Not just the announcer that comes by for every event that is around. This is the Showdown Tour. Challenge opponents in all kinds of races set in some of the most extreme environments on the planet. No time to waste. Let's get straight to the first event. The organization has divided the maps into several regions, each hosting different types of events. However, not all regions are accessible. You have to prove yourself worthy to be able to access other regions and unlock new events. But let's stick to the ones that are available for now. But there's also an official voiceover, which, of course, becomes first apparent when you first play the game as it walks through every major event and allows you to now, understand the, the controls with a simple training session and a few tutorials. There's a certain variety of tricks involved that really helps you get involved with the control scheme and also does allow you to compensate for whatever destruction and obstacles may be in the way. And there's also the time where the challenge is there, but depending on the difficulty you select, but it can, in fact, sometimes impede on the action. It doesn't totally hamper anything, depending on how difficult you want it to be, but it does work in its own way. Monster Jam Showdown is thus far an insanely good thing to try. Anyone that's looking forward to buying a copy of this on PS5 or possibly even the PS4 version, do snag one while you can. Because it does seem that Amazon is already starting to dwindle on the quantity of these titles. In terms of the CD version or even the digital version, well, the choice is yours. But as for me, having only played about 60 minutes of the game entirely, I still have kind of a long way to go 
but it doesn't really seem like that I'm going to get that much gameplay out of it, which might not be all that well. Even the Steel Titans duology combined was able to give me at least a couple whole days worth of gameplay, which isn't necessarily that long compared to other titles like the Resident Evil Remake series or Red Dead Redemption 2, but I really get the feeling that Monster Jam, with every new game they got, they probably should have added more variety. But hey, I can at least look forward to a number of things, collecting the trucks in hand, though the most recent pickup that I got was Crush Station. Though it does seem that, given more progress, I can unlock other models, like Blue Thunder, but that has yet to be determined. Until then though, with the 60 minutes I currently got, I was able to complete a good number of events, getting up to first place, as I had selected easy difficulty for the most part, wanting to remain more safe than sorry. So as a result, based on the first impressions I got, I can in fact give this thing a scoring, at the very moment, a good 7.9 out of 10.1. Not necessarily as gigantic of a new piece that has been put together, but Milestone, much like when they put together the Hot Wheels Unleashed duology in 2021 and 2023, Monster Jam Showdown is very well done. And THQ Nordic definitely handled it quite well before then. But now that we have Milestone, I feel like we might have an even bigger opportunity down the line. Maybe they could even get a hold of MX versus ATV next time. Another THQ Nordic property. Otherwise, this is definitely something that I will recommend for the folks who want to try this out. Any hardcore Monster Jam fan, racing fan, destruction fan, stunts fan, or anyone who's impressed by colorful graphics or unique sound effects, definitely come pick this up because numbers are dwindling on Amazon and otherwise. So, this is basically the first ever First Impressions video that I got based on gaming related topics and I feel like that GWK might eventually need to go into another direction in order to get as much viewership as it had gotten in the past. So, I hope to do these things at least twice a month because there is so much money that I have to put into just for the games alone and probably even more depending on what kind of editing tactics I hope to put into play. So, do expect me to show up again by September 15th with the second game in tow for the month of September. And the same thing should happen in October 1st and the 15th, November 1st and the 15th, December 1st and the 15th, and so on. So of course, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Follow me wherever you can find me, and stay on the Hollywood side for more of this stuff. And after a simply incredible race, the winner!